Hi, I'm Magnus. And I'm Leo. And welcome back to Two Nerds Talking. Uh, happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. We're in our Halloween costume, feeling very festive. And today we're talking about a very fitting book. My Heart is a Chainsaw. Which follows Jade, a girl who is a total slasher fanatic, uh, through discovering a slasher unfolding in her own town. Mm -hmm. And it also has like so many other themes and like real stories going on. It's it's fantastic. so packed full of stuff. There's that book is like so much stuff. it's short, but there's so much in it. Yeah, you have to do so much homework just it, to like really yes. grasp it because of all the references to not only eighty slashers, which I found kind of refreshing how it branched off from that and mentioned things like giallos, J horror, ninety slashers. Even I feel like they don't get enough credit. And yeah. I thought that was very refreshing to see in something about horror. Mm -hmm. You know, usually it's just people being obsessed with 80s nostalgia and nothing else. Yeah, exactly. Did you have like a favorite part of the book? Favorite part of the book? Oh, that's hard. Probably, I mean, probably the finale, even though I can't say much about it. But yeah, we're trying finale. to do no spoilers we're this time, by the way. <laughs> no spoilers. We're doing no spoilers so you guys can, you know, enjoy our video. But the finale more. is insane. It's crazy. It's, you gotta get there. You get to it, you just burn straight yeah. through it. And that's the other thing that I loved about this book was the style of it. Because it's written in the third person, but it almost feels like, like a first person story from Jade's perspective because yeah. of all the pop culture and how energetically written it is. And yeah, it's delightful. It even stutters at some point. Like it does. The writing actually stutters. It's yeah, amazing. it's so energetic and like, like it really grabs on you. Yeah. Um, and also, feel free to read this book, even if you aren't into horror stuff, because throughout the book, there are essays written by the main character about horror movies, so you don't feel left behind. And I thought that that was a really effective way of adding information. What was your favorite part of the book? Um, I think my favorite part was this section of the book where she's sitting in, like, like the police station. Yeah. And she's doing a bunch of, like weird like secretary work type stuff and she's like stamping like letters and like sealing them and I just feel like that part was like so well written and yeah. just like so just like oh, it was just so perfect like the way that they describe her just like slowly like going more and more insane from the monotony of what she's doing because yeah. there's like a slasher happening around her but she's in this little police station. I also really enjoyed how it wasn't just like a book about horror movies, you know, it also had a lot of like really deep, meaningful themes throughout it, like themes of racism and colonization and like classism. Yeah. I thought it was like very skillful the way that it handled those themes while not being overwhelming and still having like not like fun, but like an energetic and interesting novel, you yeah. know, that's not just commentary. I also like how Jade is like total slasher freak, but she also just likes movies in general. And there's so many references to just movies and things and pieces of media. Yeah. There's one part where she uses Jesse Pinkman yeah. as, as like a- Like in that first yeah. episode of Breaking Bad where he's like running across the like yeah. roof. That? She says Jesse Pinkman. Exactly. As like a verb. It's hilarious. That's crazy. It's amazing. It's so funny. Yeah, yeah that's the other thing. It's also really funny. It is really funny. While also being like a horror book. Yeah. And a book with a lot of commentary. Like, it's so full of stuff and it still manages to like make me giggle. Exactly. You know? Yeah, it strikes that perfect balance of like kind it of is. horrifying and like, ooh, it right? It's so perfect. Did you have like a favorite movie mentioned? Oh, there that's There's so many good underrated flicks mentioned. Probably be just because its inclusion was so weird, but just before Dawn came up so much in that. I don't want to niche flick like, to mention so many times. It's so weird, <laughs> like what? And she like, Jade like references it while she's doing stuff, like stuff reminds her of just before Dawn. And I'm like, wow, that's such Maybe a weird Maybe it was her favorite, make. okay. I wouldn't be, it's a good, it's a good slash. It's just so <laughs> weird. <laughs> I think I my favorite mention was definitely A Bay of Blood because it's such a proto slasher. It's yeah. a giallo, which if you don't know, that's like Italian, like super hammed up mystery yeah. crime horror movies. So it's any like Italian horror movie where yeah. the killer has black gloves. Yeah, if it's Italian <laughs> and the blood looks like red paint, it's probably a giallo. Yeah. Uh, but I love giallos. They're probably my favorite aspect of the slashers and yeah. they did come before. So I feel like they don't get a lot of credit, but the fact that she mentioned a bay of blood like several times throughout was just so great. Yeah. Like I just I love that movie and I love Giallos and it was just 
so like comforting to see love for like a movie that I also love. Yeah. One thing about it though is that the main character is a teenage girl, but it is written by a guy and that does kind of show sometimes, you know. Oh yeah. For it does sure. totally show sometimes that it's you know not written by Yeah, and some of her like angsty teenage girl lines are yeah. definitely I don't know if it's just the fact that they're like a little like dated already or that he's just like trying too hard to be a teenage girl, but yeah. I feel like sometimes it was a little clunky, but still a great book. You know, sure. that's not a reason to like not read it. It's only like a few instances. Yeah. But definitely that did kind of show through. And I feel like more books that are written about teenage girls should get like the perspective of women. Kind of like in Carrie, if you haven't seen our last video, watch it, it's about Carrie, it's very good. That is like such a common thing that adult men write these stories about teenage girls. And I feel like usually it's almost like fetishy. Like, it's just weird, and it's, like, it doesn't really work, but I feel like part of the reason Carrie worked was because he got the perspective of, like, his wife. Yeah. Besides that, totally great book, and I feel like the queer undertones were definitely not fetishized at all. I feel like they were really well done with the way that Jade is written as being kind of queer and queer-coded, and it was almost reminiscent of how gay horror movies are and have yeah. been for, like, since the beginning of cinema, even through the Hayes Code, like, horror movies have always been a place for gay people, so I'm happy that our main character is kind of, you know, a little coded, a yeah. little coded <laughs> Her and Letha, oh. 100%. come on, you guys. It's like overtones. It's, <laughs> oh yeah, it's that's crazy. like, right in your face. Mm -hmm. Well, that's all for today. We're Two Nerds Talking. We hope you have a great Halloween, yeah. and we'll see you next month. See you next month.